Hello, my friends, hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor, where I have recently been reminded of my old age and my mortality. Yay! So, recently, I was going through the vault of ancient science fiction uh, down below. Below the manor lurks the vault of ancient science fiction, where there are boxes and boxes of vintage science fiction. And I hauled some of these boxes up to the manor, and I was going through some of them because I had to create another box because I, I have gotten a, sh a fair amount of vintage science fiction that I needed to store away in the vault. And the lady of the manor walked by and she saw what I was doing with all of these boxes out, messing around with all these old books. And she was just like... And so let me give you an idea of, of what these boxes are, what I'm talking about. Okay, so these are just a few of the boxes from the Vault of Science Fiction, the Vault of Ancient Science Fiction, which I've dragged up here uh, to the house, to the manor proper. Uh, there are a lot of these boxes. I, I have a lot of boxes like this. And so to actually read everything in them, one after the other, would take, well, it would take quite a bit of time. The Lady of the Manor has claimed that I would never have time to read all of these. So we'll see. We'll see. But this is, yeah, when I talk about the things that lurk in the vault of ancient science fiction, yeah, this is that kind of thing. Also, I should mention that these books in the boxes are not in any kind of order at all. It's all just completely random as I put books in boxes. So, yeah, there, there's no order here. <laughs> I always mean to put stuff in order, and I don't. So, you know, very random, these boxes. So, that is just... A small sample of the many boxes that lurk in the vault of ancient science fiction. I have quite a few boxes of vintage science fiction, and the question was raised. Can you possibly read all of this? Because I've always stated my intention was to read all of that stuff. Even the stuff I've read already. I said, you know, I want to read that stuff again. The, the question was asked, you know, or the statement was made, you can't possibly read all of that before you die. So, I decided, you know, I'm going to try. So, realistically, I've got probably, at most, 30, 35 years left. 30 or 35 years. You know, the world is a dangerous place. Accident or incident can contribute to my demise at any time. So, 30, 35 years. So, can I read all the science fiction that I own before I die? Is it possible? I decided, you know what, I'm going to make this a priority and give it a shot on top of everything else that I've got going on, like the Read Every Book by Stephen King and all the other stuff, all the, all the YouTube or BookTube events, which, you know, there's always a BookTube event going on. Every month there's something. And so as soon as Garbogast is done, as soon as I am finished reading my last Garbogast book, I'm going to make this a priority. And I'll just slip in this science fiction stuff in between all the other reading events that happen on booktube and maybe i'll cut back on my reading events next year although probably not we will see because they are pretty fun but we'll see i've got a lot of science fiction to get through and so i thought you know what i'll go through all of this one box at a time starting with this one oh it's got uh, john windham's in there 
So there's some pretty good stuff in here. Let me open it up and take a look. So what do I have in here? Well, I've got Alas Babylon. That's a good book by, by Pat Frank. I've got something called High Vacuum by Charles Eric Maine. I've got Revolt in 2100 by Robert A. Heinlein. Sue Spaceman by Andre, Sue Spaceman by Andre Norton's in here. You know, classy stuff I've got in this, in this box. Ooh, look, it's The Demolished Man. This is a great book. Valley of the Flame by Henry Kootner. Uh, King of the World's Edge by H. Warner Munn. Got this uh, Giants Unleashed, an anthology by Groff Conklin, who at one time was the king of science fiction anthologies. So there's a lot of cool stuff in here, in this particular box. So this is the one I'm going to start on. And that'll be my science fiction project. I kind of had a science fiction project going on at one time. But I was derailed by other things. That'll happen. So yeah. Can I do it? And you're saying, you're saying right now, no, Mike, you can't do it. You can't possibly read all this stuff before you die. It's impossible. We'll see about that. I'll give it a shot. And I will give you little, little progress reports as I go along. Okay, guys. I will catch you next time, and I will see you uh, from, if everything goes well, I will see you up from the Rustic Von Lodge next time. Okay, you have a great day.